This video is going to show you how to do some basic math in a Google Docs spreadsheet. The techniques that are shown here will also work in other spreadsheet programs as well. To begin with, what I'm after is I'm going to put uh, answer to find the force, and I'm going to put it up here in cell E4. To find the force, I'm going to take the acceleration times the mass. So I've entered the mass up here to be 0.1, and that would be 0.1 kilograms. The equation I'm going to use is F is equal to mass times acceleration. That is, force is equal to mass times acceleration. So I'm going to click where I want the answer to appear, so that will be on the cell E4. I'm going to type an equal sign. All the spreadsheet programs know that whenever you type an equal sign, that means a math form is going to follow, so it gives it something to evaluate. Then I'm going to click in the cells I want to multiply together, or add or subtract, or whatever math function I want to use, in this case multiplication. So I'm going to click on the cell D4, because that's what the acceleration is that I want to multiply together. And you notice that it pops up in my formula with D4. I'm going to get an asterisk symbol, that's the symbol for multiplication for a spreadsheet. And then I'm going to click on the cell B1 because that's where the mass occurs. And when I click on B1, notice it automatically types a B1 in the force cell. When I hit return, it'll give me the answer. Now I want to copy this real quick, so I'm going to click on that cell, and I'm going to copy the formula that I that's behind the cell, and I'm going to call it's called fill down. So I'm going to click in the lower right hand corner of the box. There's a little box in, on the outside of that big box, and I'll drag it down, and that'll copy the formula. But there's a problem. I've got some things that don't make sense. So what I'll do is I'm going to click on one of the cells and see what's happening. So I'll double click, and I can see the formula, so I can edit it or do whatever I want to. If I was at this point and I made a mistake, I can press the escape key, and it won't accept any changes I made. So if I type some other stuff and realize it's wrong, I can just press the escape key and get back to my original formula. So here I am. I see it says D7 times B4. So what this is doing is it's thinking B, let's see, uh, D7, that's the acceleration immediately to the left, that's good, and B4. Well, B4 is three cells over and three cells up. So it's doing the right thing, it's just not where the numbers are supposed to be. When I wrote my original formula, my original formula was D4, which was one cell over, and then the mass was three cells over and three cells up. So you see, when the spreadsheet does the math, it doesn't think like we do. It's thinking about cell locations. So it's thinking that I told it to multiply the cell immediately to the left times the cell that's three to the left and one up. So as I copied my formula down, it started multiplying the wrong values. So I need to change this. Somehow I need to change the formula so it doesn't change the value as I copy it down. So it keeps B4 as B4. So to do that, I'm going to click on my original form at the very top. I'm going to double click on it so I can edit it. And B1, I want B1 to stay B1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a dollar sign in front of the B. When I copy it down, that the that's going to tell the computer not to change that value. And I'm going to put a dollar sign in front of the 1, that's the row value. And that way when I copy the formula down, that's going to tell the computer not to change that value either. So I'll take it, grab a little square, which I don't have. Let's see, grab a little square. There's the plus sign. Grab, drag it down. Now I've got all my force values. 